The eye for an eye approach or rather meeting water cannon blast with the same ferocity is not something the president would consider an option when it comes to dealing with the rising tension in the West Philippine Sea. For the leader of the land, the country should just stick to using diplomatic means to resolve the said issue and not actually contribute to its further escalation. Alan Francisco has more. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. reiterated the Philippines will not mimic the water cannon tactics of Chinese vessels against Philippine ships and boats. We can recall how the Chinese Coast Guard used a jet pressure water cannon against Philippine vessels during a humanitarian mission at Bao de Masinlo. We have no intention of attacking anyone with water cannons or any other such uh, offensive, I would have to call them weapons, dahil nakakadamage na. So no, uh, that is not something that's in the plan. For President Marcos, instead of water cannons, diplomacy will continue to be practiced by the Philippines. All we do is, is uh, pagka nangyayari, we know water cannon yung mga barko natin, ay nagpapadala tayo ng demarch, nagpapadala tayo ng, uh, ng, uh, uh, ng sulat, China, uh, at, and the other stakeholders. So that would be the opposite of what we are trying to achieve. According to President Marcos, the country is protecting the sovereignty of the Philippines in the West Philippine Sea. What we are doing is defending our uh, sovereign rights and our sovereignty in the West Philippine Sea. The chief executive emphasized that it is not the government's mission to initiate or escalate tensions on the issue. We will not follow the... Uh, the Chinese uh, Coast Guard and the Chinese vessels down that road uh, because it's simply, uh, uh, it, it, it's not, it is not the mission of our Navy, our Coast Guard to s start or to increase tensions. The, their mission is precisely the opposite, is to lower tensions. We, the last thing we would like was to raise the tensions in uh, the West Philippine Sea. That's the last thing, and that will certainly do that. Meanwhile, many senators support the president's position. Senator Jinko Estrada said the government should focus on ensuring the protection of our territory in compliance with the law through diplomatic means. Senator Francis Tolentino also supports the Department of National Defense in light of the Chinese embassy's recent statement alleging a new model arrangement in play in Ayungin Shul. Hindi ko maintindihan ba't nila ginagawa yun? Dininay na yun ni Secretary Chudoro. So we rely on the uh, statement of Secretary Chudoro. is telling the truth. Tolentino also deems the President's decision regarding the water cannon incident as responsible. Alan Francisco from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.